Welcome everybody to this week's topic presentation. This week we are examining Greg Mortensen. Was he a hero or was he a goat? But who is Greg Mortensen? Greg Mortensen was born in St. Cloud, Minnesota to parents Ivan and Jareen Mortensen. They moved to Tanzania when he was three months old so his parents could do Lutheran missionary work. Greg was the oldest of four siblings. They moved back to Minnesota at the age of 15. They lived in Rosewood near Minneapolis. His parents decided that their children should experience life in the United States for their reason for moving back here. He joined the army right out of high school because he felt he did not have the funds to attend college. Within the army, he became a trained field medic. He attended St. John's University in Minnesota and played on the NCAA Division III championship football team. He, he later graduated from the University of South Dakota with a double major in nursing and chemistry. Within his stay at South Dakota, he worked as an emergency room nurse. He is an active mountain climber and lover of the outdoors. He is a notable author and his notable works include Three Cups of Tea and Stones Into Our Schools. He is also the founder of Central Asia Institute or CAI. The Central Asia Institute or CAI officially started in November of 1995, founded by Greg and his wife Tara with financial backing by Dr. Jean Hausenai. Their core mission is to build schools and better the lives of Central Asia's children. They have six areas that they focus in. The first one is schools, building and supplying them with what they need to be successful. The third is scholarships. Those scholarships help the students be able to obtain the education that they need. Third is the teachers. They pay their salaries and educate the teachers as well as supply them with training. The fourth is public health. It says on their websites, quote, students can't go to school and learn if they aren't healthy. Maternal health care, infant wellness, nutrition, and hygiene programs, disaster relief assistance, and clean water systems are all provided. Fifth is community support. Other projects are occasionally funded by CAI. Those projects include bridges, porter trainings, and museums. The sixth thing is global outreach. They have a program called Pennies for Peace, and their website states, Pennies for Peace program encourages encouraging students to learn about their Central Asia counterparts while raising funds to help them get an education. CAI promotes cross-cultural cross understanding around the world and campaigns to keep education in the public eye at home and abroad. John Krakhauser interviewed with 60 Minutes and brought up three key points that launched an investigation into Mortensen's finances with CAI and examining his book of Three Cups of Tea. Within this 60 Minutes interview, Krakhauser brings up these three points of the use of CAI funds, the timeline of Three Cups of Tea, and Mortensen's capture by the Taliban. The use of CAI funds, Krakhauser says, was misused, that more was allotted to Mortensen's book efforts than was to the actual schools. 60 Minutes was able to catch up and speak with 30 of the different schools. Some they found were faring very well. The kids were getting the proper education, which CAI promised, and they were doing very, very well. Others hadn't seen any funding for years, they said. And some were even abandoned and being used for livestock and cattle and to store grass and hay. Now let's examine the timeline of Three Cups of Tea. Within, within the book, Mortensen speaks of him 
going into a village. Um, it it speaks of how he had a a failed attempt at hiking K2, which is the second largest mountain in the world, and he hiked this mountain in the memory of his sister, which passed away from epilepsy. And he was coming down from this failed attempt, and he was very dehydrated and near death, and he said he stumbled into this village, and that they they took care of him and nursed him back to health, and within that time, he saw the kids doing their schoolwork in dirt with sticks, and he was appalled, it says, and that he promised to them that he would bring a school to them. And, and within Three Cups of Tea, it says that they were able to bring the school to them and that the, the people were very excited and loved him. However, Krakhauser tells us that this could have been impossible because where they were on K2 was the opposite side of the mountain and there was a river between where they were or where he says he was and the village he stumbled into. He also brings up the point that there was a, excuse me, there was no bridge to even cross this river for him to get there. That bridge was later built by CAI and the community of this, this village. Third, let's talk about his capture to the Taliban. In, in the book, it talks about how he was captured by the Taliban, and Krakhauser tells us that this couldn't even have been possible because the group didn't even exist. There, there was a picture of these men with Mortensen holding AK-47s, which is interesting in itself because there was another picture of Mortensen, his wife, and their firstborn child holding AK-47s, and they said that it was the culture. Now, within Mortensen's interview, after all of this got released, Mortensen was quiet, but he did interview down the road, and he, he was quoted saying, I let a lot of people down. He knows that he falsified some things. Within that interview, he told them that everything... All these stories were true, but the timeline and the way that they happened could have been elaborated on, but they were all true. So the question remains, is Greg Mortensen a hero or a goat? There is no denying that Greg Mortensen did many great things and continues to do great things through the efforts of CAI, but with his misuse of charitable funds and his misuse and misplace of information within his book has brought him under fire. I would say that he is a hero goat. He is both a hero and a goat. And that is this week's topic presentation. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to reading your comments below and have a wonderful night.